Hey everyone, Wes here with Westberg Tarot, taking a few moments to talk about another minor arcana card in the deck. I have here the Five of Swords. So I want to unpack this card a little bit, talk in more detail about its significance uh, when I see it show up in a reading, and what I like to do about it. Uh, so uh, just a little bit about the card itself. Uh, swords, suit of swords, all about communication. A lot of times the conflict that we see in communication, and this card certainly about conflict and communication. Um, so let me pop it up here more in the in the foreground so we can kind of deconstruct the image to kind of help support what I mean. So um, fives in general a lot, talk a lot about conflict, uh, and this certainly is no exception. The five of swords, uh, we have a person here in the, uh, in the foreground here, three swords, uh, who has clearly defeated these two people who have walked away, heads bowed in shame. They don't even have their swords with them anymore. This person disarmed them. So we have this person with this overabundance of, of, the, of the weaponry that they needed to, for this exchange. And also a kind of like the end result was not only were they defeated, but they were disarmed and walked away, these, these people who were defeated, really feeling shamed, their heads down. And I guess one of the big things that, and this is one of the first things I think I, I saw in this card, I'm pulling it up really closer. If you look at the smirk on this person's face, that's definitely a gloaty kind of smirk. And I think this really helps typify a lot of what this card is all about. I'll pull it back out here a little bit. And in the background, I think what's important to kind of talk about is um, just this exchange, like this air, this, like the artist's rendition of uh, the air moving so quickly with the clouds kind of being jagged like that. But also, we look at the water here, this choppy water. Um, when we see water a lot of times in tarot cards, they, they kind of represent emotions. So we've got ripply emotional kind of stuff going on here as well. So we have here, I think, kind of a really excessive dis display of conflict. And, you know, it's kind of over the top. And with this smirk, it's kind of a little disingenuous. And that's a nice way of putting it. I think there's some dirty pull that kind of has gone on with this thing. This guy didn't need three swords. And this guy didn't need to disarm this person. This guy just didn't need to have such an excessive display. Uh, and so it's a little underhanded. And that's kind of how I learned this card from other people's definitions, but I've subscribed that. And I think this card, uh, the, the picture here, supports that as well. So when I see this card show up in a reading, um, it usually means that there's been some kind of exchange or some kind of conflict that's happened for this person that they're either actively involved with, kind of contending with, or it's a reference for them that is significant for the reading itself. And one of the things I like to do right away is kind of identify with that person I'm doing the reading for. Uh, are they this person or are they these people? And that can be really helpful uh, in kind of moving forward because this is a card about behavior. Uh, this is a card about excessive behavior and, and how we kind of deal with conflict. Now, um, if they identify as the perpetrator and maybe the person who's maybe not done some of the a little maybe underhanded techniques in kind of their exchange with someone, a little excessive, maybe a little over the top, maybe they took it too far, pointing out the perspective of this kind of excessive behavior is really important. Now, if the person you're doing the reading for identifies more as uh, the people in the background here and they're really kind of feeling that humiliation, well, then they need to kind of first kind of realize that and um, if they hadn't really already and sometimes that card can just really kind of crystallize how they feel about walking away from a scenario but just understanding their perspective and however this exchange happened was there a winner and was there a loser and where do they fit in all of that from there you know the, the person's question the cards that surround that question help inform that a little bit more but yeah, this is a this is a card of like not so great behavior in conflict, and it's important to kind of get that clarity right away and get that addressed, so that the next steps that you can kind of address in the reading is to figure out how to help them, how to move forward. And these things that can be helpful in recovering from or really recognizing the significance of their behavior and what that's all about. So I'll stop there with this. I hope this has been helpful. If you had questions or comments, please feel free to leave them here. Uh, with this post and uh, or if you wanted to follow up with me in other ways you can always look me up at uh, westbergtarot.com all right y'all take care